from Boulder. This is Coach Prime's Playbook with Romy B. It starts right now. Everything we do starts right now. Hand off. They go to the left-hand side. Into the end zone. Xavier Weaver. Touchdown. Throws it left side. Grab is made. End zone. Touchdown, Colorado. Top shelf. Has his man. Touchdown, Sun Devils. There's a lot about this ball game that has been kind of tough to watch. But if Colorado gets out of here with a victory, and they're on the doorstep right now, I get to take it. Pulls the ball. Puts it down. Mata kick is up. It is on its way. And it is good. Y'all understand what I see in y'all. I see so much more in y'all than what y'all are giving, than what y'all are doing. So much more. Y'all are way better than this. But I do appreciate the W. Welcome into Coach Prime's Playbook with the one and only Coach Prime. And, you know, after that game, you get the dub, but you were open and honest. This is, this is not what your expectation is. Exactly. Why were you, you know, frustrated? We're, we're better than that. We're so much better than what mm. we're displaying on yeah. field, offensively, defensively, and uh, certainly special teams. Mata came with a great kick. Um, Mark uh, punted his butt off um, as well. And uh, I think uh, I think 10 almost broke a punt return, correct? Mm -hmm. But we're so much better yeah. than what we're doing. And I don't want to ever allow us to hit a level of complacency mm -hmm. and not the level of consistency. We just got to be a lot more consistent and the little things, protect that quarterback, get after the run, and uh, don't give up nothing deep or nothing cheap. How have you seen the team respond to that message this week? Um, we're responding. Okay. Um, the people that needed to hear it, they heard it loud and clear. Good. And uh, I had to light some fires up under some people to let them know we're not playing. Sometimes people get comfortable, mm -hmm. and they, re they need to get uncomfortable yeah. because <laughs> The people that I'm trying to choose my words because I know what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> people that know me know I don't settle with mediocrity and I'm, I don't settle with the consistency of doing wrong. Mm -hmm. we, we get rid of it. We replace it. You, want, you mentioned uncomfortable. Something that is kind of uncomfortable to watch is to see how many times Shador gets sacked and we know you've addressed yeah. it. How do you fix it going into a short week? Well, that's, that's, that's first of all, the players got to take pride and protecting their quarterbacks. And I also told the team, which uh, I'm pretty sure is on camera, that the thing that disgusted me the most mm -hmm. is he took it upon himself. I think he ran out of there one time, and I think he ran over a linebacker or whatever. And I think maybe one guy came to help him up. Mm -hmm. The whole line should have rallied around him right yeah. then and picked him up and like, okay, shoot, our quarterback is running over defenders. Let's go. Yeah. And that didn't happen. That disgusted me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one thing about Shador, he is tough. And yeah. another guy that is tough is Travis Hunter. Right. Any chance we might see Travis? Yeah, there's a tremendous chance. It's really up to Travis, the way he practices, the way he prepares, um, his timing. Um, is he well-conditioned enough to do what he wants to do? Because you can't just get half of Travis. Travis, when he comes back, he want to play both ways. He want to start. He want to pick right up where he left off. So that's the Travis that I know for certain. Oh. So you want to make sure his timing is there because when he's on the field, there's a tremendous expectation. Yeah. So is that when Travis comes back, will it be a full go or do you think you could no, have no, a push no. count? It ain't no, it ain't no harnessing yeah. Travis whatsoever. Sure. It's like, all right, let's go. Yeah. Let's do your thing. So if he's going, he's going. He's going. All right, so you're four and two. Already beat the over on, on the number of wins. Yeah. <laughs> but we know it's a tough slate down the stretch. What do you think if you had to pick one big thing that you need that you want to see from this team down the stretch? Um, consistency. We got to be consistent in whatever that is. We must be consistent. We got to protect our quarterback. We know that. Yeah. We protect our quarterback. We keep him upright. Um, to me, he, he's the best in the business. Mm -hmm. He's the best in the business by far because of what, how he sees the game, what he knows, uh, his instincts and his arm strength and his, 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 his just intellect in yeah. this, this game. He, he's the best in the business. So we just got to keep him upright yeah. so he can do what he's capable of doing. Yeah, his football IQ is pretty fun to watch exactly. on display as well. Can't wait to see it this Friday. That brings us to who's next. The Buffs got a date under the Friday Night Lights with the Stanford Cardinal. Daniels back to pass. Going long. Give it to Irvin, and he is, breaks the tackle. One shot, and he's still going. He may be gone. And he's picked off by Colin Wright, and he's got space into the end zone. 
And the Cardinal got a record similar to ASU. They're one and four, also had lost four in a row. Uh, they've got the lowest point differential in the conference now, but what's really interesting and what makes them really different from this team, signed only seven <laughs> players from the transfer I, portal. I didn't know Pretty that. crazy. Uh, let's hear from Cardinal head coach Troy Taylor, who's coming back to Boulder. He's been here, but uh, expecting something a little different. Boulder's always been a, a place that's really enjoyed football. I was a graduate assistant there in, I think it was 94 or five, I guess five. Um, and uh, it was a great fan base. And, and, uh, and so it's good to see them, you know, and the celebrities and all that stuff. I, I'm not sure. I don't know all the celebrities, but that's, I mean, that's, I guess that's pretty cool. The kids can, the players can tell me who the celebrities are. Hey, that's exactly what you said, right? The kids can tell them, but only yeah. seven kids from, from yeah, the transfer yeah. portal. It's hard for a school like Stanford, that, right? That's With the portal. Well, I, I think the academic standards, uh, yeah. Um, they're committed to academics. Yeah. We we are too. Let's yeah, just no. get that right. We are we are too. I don't want to make them think that we're not committed to academics, but we are. But it is it, interest how how different yeah, it is. Different. Now you look at a team that's lost four in a row. I mm -hmm. always say there's nothing more dangerous than a desperate team, and they're coming off a bye. So True. what do you expect? I expect them to come out there and fight like they have in uh, every game. They're 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 a pretty disciplined team. They do what they do. Um, they're not as athletic as we are. But uh, they're physical, they're tough, they have no quit in them, they're well coached as well. So what kind of a, a test is that? See how you answer the bell. We, the thing about it, when we're doing what we're capable of doing, it, it should be a good day. Yeah. But we gotta do what we're capable of doing. Yeah. And don't concern ourselves with everything that they're doing. We gotta do what we're capable of doing. We, you know, the schemes are appropriate for for this team going up against this team, but they do some things that, that we have addressed and we got to take away a couple things that they do really well and uh, prayerfully we're okay. One thing that this team is capable of doing is producing one incredible wide receiver after another. Right. Coming up on the next segment, we are going to talk to one of those wide receivers who had just absolute game-changing plays in that win over ASU.